What's going on guys? Brian Quick here today and I'm going to talk to you about how to get your monies where they need to be and how to manage your money as a real estate agent or a self-employed um, person in general. But this is really going to be towards real estate agents. Okay. The first thing that you need to make sure that you are before you start thinking about anything when you start your real estate business. Okay. And if you're not already this, you need to do it ASAP is you need to become an LLC. Okay, there are a lot of tax advantages to this. There's a lot of protection for you with this. You need to become an identity, okay? You're not just Brian Quick. My LLC is Brian Quick Real Estate, okay? So you need to have your real estate business in an LLC, okay? You could also do an S-Corp. Um, but there's different ways about that. And there's some different things I'm not going to get into here. I'm not a tax expert, uh, but I suggest doing an LLC for starters. Okay. So once you become an LLC, okay, you have a business account. Okay. Not your personal account. You have an actual business account for your business. Okay. Now, when you have your business account set up and you're an LLC and you have your business account set up. Now, let's just say for easy numbers, you get a $10,000 commission. Okay. Now, at EXP, this is not an EXP talk, but at EXP, it is direct, direct deposited. Okay. Right into our accounts. Okay. If you don't have a direct deposit brokerage, you get your check. Okay, perfect. Now this check goes right into your business account. All right. So now that we have your now we have your check, you got paid a ten thousand dollar check. All right. Okay. Now, with that being said, within your business account, we also have right here a tax account. Okay, separate tax tax account, okay? What I highly suggest doing for safety measures, it's always better to have some left over after you pay your taxes, have a little extra money to do whatever you want to with and not have enough. So I automatically take 30.5% out of that check and put it right here, okay? That makes sense? So $3,500. goes right there, okay? So, with that being said, now we have our business account, okay? The business, now what you're gonna do is take an additional 30%, and this is going to go to your biz, your business, okay? Your expenses, biz expenses, you know, whatever it is that you want to invest in your business with, 30% goes to that every single time. Usually what I'll do is I'll just let it stay in there. Okay? So 30% for business account. And then the remaining goes into your personal account. Okay? That's what I do and I find it works very well. Okay? So this right here is what I do. The remaining of it goes here. Now, with that being said, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money, but here's what we do with our money personally, okay? So we get the check, okay? We get the, we get the money, and then whatever we have in our account left over from this money, okay? We take 30% of that money, and we put it towards... Uh, we have a little bit of uh, debt from my hospital, so we put it towards debt... And then once we get done with the debt, we're going to put it towards saving and investing. 30%. Okay, this is now in the future. This will always be a standard of what we do, always. Okay, so 30% of the take-home pay will go, will go to debt, savings, or investing. Okay, we take out an additional 10%. 
okay, for us. Fun money. Yay. This is, this is in cash. We cash this out. Okay, so that's already taken out so that we're not automatically just spending more money on it. Okay, cash it out. And the remaining 60% goes to bills, groceries, etc. Whatever the necessities are. Okay, and this is how we do with our money right now. Um, again, this is just how we we are working it. Okay, so this right here, the ten percent remember is cash money. This go the thirty percent goes to debts. Guys, if you do not tell your money where it goes, where it where then it's going to tell you where it goes. Okay. Now, again, you need to make sure your LLC priority one number one. Number two, get a business account. When you get the business account, get a tax account. Okay? This check, your commission checks, should never, ever, ever go to this personal account directly. Ever. Every penny that you get from your brokerage for your sale needs to go to a business account, take out the taxes, leave 30% in for your business, and put the rest in the personal. Okay, guys, I hope this was absolutely helpful. This is just how I do it, and I find it works really well. Um, usually with this 30.5%, that's more than enough than when I need to pay my taxes. So every year we get a little bonus. You know, we use it for a trip or a business expense or whatever we want to do, you know. And the crazy thing is if we use the extra money that we have left over from the 30.5% for a business trip or something, you know, in related to my business, well, that's a write-off in additional to the taxes, so it works out really well. Again, guys, I'm not a tax expert. I'm not trying to be one. This is just what I've learned over the years of how to run my monies, and I find it's simple, it's really easy, and it's effective. So um, yeah, guys, if you thought this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up on the video. Leave me a comment about some tips or tricks that you do with your monies um, as a self-employed real estate agent, and don't forget to subscribe. Guys, thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.